How does everything start? Everything starts with an idea. A creative process that illuminates the mind and puts pencil to paper. That's how I speak, through art. And the freedom of its expression flowing through me. This is the journey. Discover and can. The workshop is my home and my resting place. With everything going on in my life, the music and other jobs, I feel present in this very moment. All the bags staring at me as if they're asking, who will be a part of the family next? The bridge to a final Undeken bag starts from the inside. The bags have characters of their own. When I'm doing the sketches and the coloring, I imagine what the person wearing it might look like. Is it a tall banker going off to a vacation in some part of Ethiopia? Or could it be a beautiful lady carrying the papers for a meeting? Each piece is a painting, each with a story of its own, each craving to be desired. I imagine Andeken not as a tool or an accessory, but as a vestigial organ. Every detail matters, from the gusset to the handle. Not just visual, it's practical and it's urgent, it's a way of life and how you live it. doing some shopping in Mercato and buying the necessities, I start arranging my visual memory. These days, the batik print from Burkina Faso is key to the overall look. This is where it gets interesting. When you spread everything out and see all the pieces, mind turns the room into a map. The map tells you what kind of bag should be made. This is the first step, the first stride in making it real. So I have to be very sure about what the job calls for. The blueprint will do. These are the moments I appreciate the most. It's the precipice for something great. These are antique brass D-rings and hooks. We use these for the removable shoulder straps on the bigger bags. Every precursor is set for the bag. While starting on again, I originally just started to make clothes for stage wear. Things evolved and 
a laptop cover was made. That laptop cover then had a handle, and then walking in Mercato, I found the leather section, and then things changed. You can never re-emphasize your vision enough. Because my interests have been so wide in the arts over the years, I've learned how to multitask and treat them like spokes in a wheel. I approach the weekly order like a jigsaw puzzle, create the borders, fill in the inside. I'm organizing the inside materials for the bags. I put them in labeled rolls as a means of communicating with my sewer so he can create a clearer workflow. Now I feel like my thoughts are translatable, but still there are details to add for clarity. It can never be too clear. Production, every minute counts, and I always try to make sure that I don't waste a production day. Coming too late means you can lose a whole day. As my knowledge and experience about bag making has increased, learn how to work smarter rather than harder. This is a belt-like material called Chinga. My sewer told me we didn't have enough for the weekly order, so I did a drive-by past Mercato. This is Henok. He's the main sewer for Undekan. Henok to my business partner, Admasu, an architect, fellow musician, a great friend and a brother. Henok was his classmate at the Addis Ababa University Leather Textiles program. I give him all the pieces I had arranged beforehand. We discuss the look and feel of the weekly order. The bags evolve just like the puzzle that is assembled in the preparation. Each piece brings it closer to existence. Hanuk is brilliant at understanding the intricacies of the work to be done. Because we sometimes fall victims to language barrier, we have created a visual language to decrease the chances of misunderstanding. In a sense, we speak in colors and shapes. Henok brings life to the pieces in the most literal sense. Working on a vision with someone for a long time kind of transfers as a mental picture, but it indeed takes time, especially with the vision always changing and always evolving. He himself is an artist, paddling in the river of undeken creativity a master at work. As he crafts the sections one by one, I'm reminded of my younger self. He stitches with passion and raw drive to excel. You can't really love or hate a piece of work unless you understand it. People tell me that they love my music. I want them to love my bags as well.
can always tell if something is made from the heart. This is true with Undken. Heart and dedication make Undken what it is and what it will be. I believe there's an owner for every bag we make. It's like a meeting destined to occur. I ultimately want the customer to fall in love with the bag at first sight. And so, after one bag's journey ends, another one begins. <laughs> <laughs>